full package! Stop it! Son of a bitch! You're fidgeting around and it's making me nervous. Your fucking ass! Over to the fucking door! Fucking loopers, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, he pulls it off! What's up, YouTube? This is the hero here, and today I'm playing some Minecraft, and I'm about to whoop this creeper's ass. You blow up my torch, you dickhead. What an asshole. My torch was supposed to keep the monsters away, but it didn't work. He walked right towards it, like the light didn't even scare him. But anyways, I'm playing some Minecraft, sucker, sucker. And- OH GOD NO! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Good thing I was in front of my freaking house. God damn it. That son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. God damn it, those creepers. Better not lose my map. I need that shit. I get lost all the goddamn time. Did he blow up my stairs? He blew up my goddamn stairs. What an asshole. Damn it. Anyway, shut up, chicken. It's not funny. Oh, my God. Scared the shit out of me, though. I'll tell you that. What are they doing in the daytime? Sons of bitches. All right. Back to what we were doing. I'm going to show you my house. I put this shit on peaceful to build my house, and now, um... Now it's on easy, as you can see. Because I get my ass whooped on the easy, so I don't even want to try normal or hard. I know I'm a noob. Well, anyways, front door right here. Okay. No, not my house! No, don't come into my house! Don't come in my house! Don't blow my house! Oh my god. Shut the front door. There we go. Alright, back to the tour. Here we go. This is the storage room over here. It's where I storage, you know, store shit, I mean. Got nothing in there, really. You know, just started. Got some beds in case some, uh, some friends stop by. There we go. Let's see, got the uh, workbench over here. Good, good. Saw that paintings. I painted that myself. Yep, I'm a I'm a master of the art. So um, over here, this is where uh, the king sleeps. And by king, I mean me. This is where the magic happens. The magic, the bed, right there. All right, there we go. Now here's the balcony of safety. I can look outside safely. No, nothing's gonna get me up here. Maybe a skeleton, maybe, because he shoots. He's fucking gay. All right, close that door. Let's go up higher. You know, there we go. Go up here for a little. Uh... What's up, spider? How you doing? It's my neighbor. Yep, he's noisy as hell. He keeps me up at night. I try to, I try to get him to shut the hell up. I called the cops on him like three times, but you know, he just won't stop. But that's my neighbor. He lives over there on uh, Spider Mountain. Yep. He's pretty cool, although, sometimes. You know, he's shy. Right? I'm not talking about you, bro. I'm talking about other stuff. Don't worry. He's a dickhead. Fuck him. I talk about him all the time. Alright. So I wanted to start this episode off with a joke to take up time while I mine. It, Cause it's kind of boring just to watch me mine. I think. I think it's boring. So um, the joke I want to tell you is called the uh, pink ping pong ball joke. And if you heard it, then you might not uh want to sit through this whole like spew of me telling the joke. But um, so I'm gonna tell it now. So you might want to go somewhere else if you've already heard it. All right. So this 15 year old boy, he's getting ready to turn 16 soon. And his father asks him, Son, what would you like for your birthday? You can have anything for your 16th birthday. The sky is the limit. Don't worry about cost. We're rich. I won the lottery. You know, bullshit, bullshit. I can afford anything. So the son looks at him and he says, Dad, the only thing I would like for my birthday is a pink ping pong ball. And the father looks at him and he's like, Really? A pink ping pong ball? That's what you want? You don't want a car or anything? And the son's like, nope, I just want this pink ping pong ball, Dad. It's the only thing I want, and uh, I would like it if you got it for me. So his birthday comes around, and his dad got it for him. And within a couple of weeks, the pink ping pong ball disappears. And his dad is looking all around the house. He's like, where the hell did that pink ping pong ball go? What would a 16-year-old kid do with it? So... 
Another year goes by, and the kid is turning 17, and his dad says to him, Son, what would you like for your 17th year old uh, birthday? Again, the sky is the limit. Don't worry about cost. I'll get you whatever you want. So, uh, the son says to his father, Dad, I would like a jar of pink ping pong balls. And his dad, even though he doesn't understand, but because he loves his son, buys him the jar of pink ping pong balls. So, uh, a couple weeks go by, and what the fuck? Are you serious? My ex broke just like that. A couple weeks go by, and, um, the jar, the whole jar of pink ping pong balls disappears. Just absolutely gone from existence. So, dad looks around, he can't find it. It's not in the living room, not around the house, it's not in the backyard, nowhere. Nowhere to be found. So, another year goes by, and it's the kid's 18th year old. It's his 18th birthday. And, uh, his father yet again asks him, Son, what would you like for your birthday? This is your big 18th birthday. You're starting to become an adult now. What would you like? And uh, his son looks at him and he says, Dad, it's about time I need a car. So I would like a van filled with pink ping pong balls. So uh, his, his dad, without asking any questions, even though he yet again doesn't understand what the hell is up with these pink ping pong balls, he buys his son the van and he fills it with pink ping pong balls for his son and um I need to make armor how do you make leather armor is that it? yep I made leather leather shoes there we go and so he did this for him he got it for his son his son was extra happy a couple weeks go by again the van and the pink ping pong balls disappear completely gone the father never sees him again within a couple of months and he's just like, man, what the hell is going on? Where are all these pink ping pong balls going? Where did the van go? What is he doing with these pink ping pong balls? Why does he want them every year? So it's the kid's 19th birthday. And, and he, uh, he asks him yet again, son, what would you like for your 19th birthday? And, um... The son says to his dad, Dad, I would like a pool filled with pink ping pong balls. So his dad, being the billionaire that he is, because he has <laughs> he has all this money to spend on this stupid shit, and he buys his son a pool, and he has it filled with pink ping pong balls. And this time, within a week, the pink ping pong balls are all gone absolutely just vanished from the pool just gone disappeared not to be seen again so the father is just getting even more anxious now like what the hell is going on here what is happening with all these pink ping pong balls what the fuck so again it's the kids 20th birthday it's five years now since the pink ping pong ball thing started happening. So the father, you know, pretty much assumes it's going to be a pink ping pong ball related situation. So he says, son, for your 20th birthday, you're a man now almost. What would you like for your birthday? And the son says to him, dad, I want my whole bedroom filled from floor to ceiling with pink ping pong balls no questions asked the father fills the son's room with the pink ping pong balls and yet again within a week the pink ping pong balls have disappeared I just murdered my neighbor oh my god but anyways on with the joke so um the dad is just baffled by this how could a whole bedroom filled with pink ping pong balls disappear within a week what is he doing with them? There's no way he's storing them anywhere. The son lives with him, with his father. So what is happening here? 
What the fuck is going on? So, the 21st birthday comes around. The dad is fed up. He is not going to buy a, another pink ping pong ball for his kid at all. So, before he decides to uh, go and ask the kid what, what does he want for his birthday, demanding that he does not ask for pink ping pong balls anymore, the son gets hit by a bus. And he is in critical condition in the hospital. The father is devastated. He is torn to pieces. His heart just torn, shredded. He is crying at his son's possible deathbed. And he says, son, the doctor says you're not going to make it. And before you die, there's one thing I have to ask you that I've been wondering all these years. What have you been doing? The pink ping pong balls that I've been buying for you every year for your birthday. So the son, with tears in his eyes, says, Father, there's something I have to admit to you. The reason why I ask for these pink ping pong balls every year is because I have been... And then he flatlines on the deathbed. The son is dead. That's the end of the joke! And that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching, and thank you for wasting your time. Stay tuned for another episode of me fucking around in Minecraft. Peace!